people and welcome back to Hufford Paranormal. Tonight we're at an old house, used to be owned by a motorbike enthusiast. That's all I know at the minute, obviously due to the parts of bikes and stuff like that. Uh, I've heard it's really haunted, we're going to go and have a look now and see what we can get. Uh, so, so what we'll do is we will go and we'll check this out and we'll take you around and let you see what's happening and do a few experiments and stuff. So let's go and have a look. Right, so we're going to take a walk over here first because I was going to go into the house but I thought I heard something over here. So we'll just take a look in here and see what it actually is. Some some boots there. It's yeah, it's like some kind of workshop. It looks like a kind of a some kind of vice. Yeah, but what's that next? Nah. I don't know. What's that next door then? I don't know. I'm going to have a look. Oh, look, my battery's not working. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's okay. I'll get you one here. I don't need this one anyway. I got this light. Oh, There's more batteries in the bag anyway. <laughs> right, people. So we're just I've got the trusty mother in law with me again. After her gammy knee. Uh, there's a lot of gas bottles in here. Yeah, there's loads of belt everywhere. I don't think they should be left there. Well, they're on the ground and all. Yeah, but these are, these are big, massive ones. Alright. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, some wheels and stuff hanging up there. So, what we'll do is we'll go to the basement first. And then we will just have a look inside the house. Got some more crew with me tonight, some spotters. Probably runawayers, but. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm glad I didn't wear shorts anyway. I get stung to death with these nettles. Everywhere, isn't it? Do you want me to go first and I got a brighter light? Right. So. First part of the basement here, and we have oh motorbike parts. Please do keep your eyes and ears peeled, people. If you do see or hear anything at all, that looks to be off a go kart. Please do let us know. We've got the old. Uh, been the Element TT, I take it. You want to know? Just all motorbike parts. Nothing Fuel tank. Uh, so, we've got the wheels here. And the wheels right here. He must have used this as an old uh, sitting area as well at one point. We spent a lot of time. He's got a fireplace mill here. So, they would use this probably as a workshop with all these units and stuff. And these ones. The uh, tires and stuff like that. Got our eldest son Kyle with us tonight as well. And we've got Kieran and Vanessa as well. Spotters. So, got a crew of five here. So hopefully one of us should catch, should catch something. Not on Kyle, that'd be syphilis, but hey. No, uh, or gonorrhea or something like that, but anyway. Right. Yeah, so it's been like a workshop, I think, but with a, with a fireplace on it. Is there a flu in that, I wonder? Yep, there is. So, right. That's the good stuff now, let's go to the house. <laughs> Let's do some. Uh, <laughs> so we've got some, like I say, these oil things here. Right, we'll go ahead. This is supposed to be really haunted, people, like I say. So please do, if you hear or see anything, let me know in the comments. I know you will, but. Please do. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Any go. So we have a bottle of oil there. More oil things in here and stuff. Okay. This is gonna be a pretty good explorer. Right. Okay. Let me go then. Right, I'll go. Right, so there's I wonder if they use this as a kitchen or something like that. This is the worst kitchen. Microwave, well I know it's quite small, but there's a stereo there. Two microwaves, motorbike helmet, lawnmower, just everything you find in the kitchen really in it. Right. Uh, ah, a trusty staircase. Anyway, look at this. I remember getting boxes of biscuits like that. Mm. Torches. Petrol cans. Engines. Just general motorbike stuff. What's this? Looks like an air filter or something. Cylinder. Have you been in the house? I haven't been in the house, no. no. Where have you been? Did you go upstairs? No, we just been down mm. there. Right, so coming upstairs yet? Well, that's supposed to be. Oh my god, look at this. It's just tools everywhere. Well, tool boxes. More oil. Look at this. It's probably that's still there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, that's one thing they don't do, isn't it? That's one of the pressure guns. So, yeah. there's loads of stuff left. Here's all the numbers of the bikes, look. Mm. What's that for? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was shocking. <laughs> two valve special. Your vice on that as well. Coats. Got loads of numbers in there, look at this. Mm. Right. Mm. We got all this stuff here, clocks. There's loads of stuff. Jigsaw over there. Right. Right, who wants to go first? Where? Upstairs. Go on. Upstairs. Who wants to go first? Right, you need some ladders. What? You don't, what? You don't need one. I'm not some ladders. Alright, then. Yeah. Okay, ladies first. No, right. it's alright, you carry on. Right, come on. Massive hole here. I'll go next. Watch the hole. 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 Watch the yeah, massive hole. Right. Don't open it. It's got a big hole in it. <laughs> so. The door will open. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, you don't. Drop. Right, so we've got to climb through the doorway then. No, I'm not well, we'll, we'll have to wait, wait and see first. Right, so. Ah! ah. Someone's helping us out here. Yeah. First, Kyle, don't stand that too much because it's a bit iffy. Right. You can't come through here. Huh? You can't come through here. Why? Because there's a chair now. What? So, there's a chair to stand on. You thought you said you can't. Right. Oh, I did, yeah. Yeah, right, Kyle, grab the whole list I get through. I'm just going to pause this, people, just so we get through this gap. Oh, I'm not going to climb. So, people, oh. now we've got through the hole in the door. We're gonna do you forgot to make this with great difficulty. Well, with great difficulty. But this this is the front door, which we don't want to go too near. So we're gonna go in the front room first, which is still a lot of stuff left in here. There's a flat screen telly and all there. Yeah. There's fireplace. I don't think this place has been uh, empty that long, you know. There's speakers up there. No, do you know where this reminds me of? This what? reminds me of Nansen. No, not Nansen. Um, uh, South, King, South Street. King Street. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's a photograph here of. So, books. There's another telly in there. Hi fi. Uh, 
is we're going to have a, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, a walk around the whole house and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a spirit box session in here. So there's another motorbike helmet there. Some photographs here. I wonder if this the guy that... <laughs> it looks like it's this guy here. So, there, oh, there's one there. Dennis, holiday in Spain, 2003. And someone in a policeman's. I wonder, was he a policeman? Oh, God. The old cameras are. Right, so. We had one end of them. Yeah, we did, yeah. Well, same as well. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> this would have been the kitchen. Uh, if we're searching for spirits, I find one. Look, this one here. Uh, yeah. So, oh. Another microwave. They like microwaves, this guy, didn't they? What the hell? There was two down the and one here. Washing machine. Some. Someone broke that window, cougar. That saggy this floor over here. There's a kettle there. I'll tell you what, this house from the outside looks a lot bigger than it is on the inside, isn't it? Huh? Oh, the water has April 2020. I reckon this has been left here by someone who's been exploring. Yeah, water. someone's been exploring and has left this here because what it wouldn't. Has a three to two, two to three year date yeah, but this is this is more than two to three years old. We we were here just for for people watching the video. We were actually here last October, I think it was, wasn't it? Something like that. Um, yeah, we couldn't get in because it was completely sealed up. But we've came again now, and we've got in. Uh, right, so let's let's go upstairs and have a quick look. And then we'll uh, do a... Oh, that's one of those clothes dryer things, isn't it? Even that looks pretty new. So we've got... Right, yeah, well, then we'll, we'll, not, we'll not go looking at it. So, again now... I see, this is going to be not a long explore, but I mean, it's just it's a big house floor wise, but it's not. Right, is this the toilet? Yeah, go in there. No, I'm not going in there. Why? No, because apparently someone seems to have used it. So here we are. There's, there's a couple of bedrooms here. So this oh, talk about a box room. Uh, TT races, motorbikes on the wall. Some photographs. Yeah, this is a top of a box room. But look at but look at this. There's a tiny photograph of some woman on there. And then there's a real old photograph of someone. This this was the, uh, like an office one. Yeah. Well, this is this is uh, Norwegian, isn't it? Ostend. Ostend. I'm sure it is. Ostend. Ostend, isn't it? Uh, sorry, we got the. Is there we are. There. Not, um... No, it's either in Norway or Sweden. Yeah, I was going to say Sweden. Swedish. There we are. Swedish TT. So that'll be that. You're gonna have a look up there. What have we got in here? So. Little small room here. Nature just outside the window. The old car. Doesn't seem very haunted, does it? I do get a presence here. But I'm getting the presence of a child in here. Now everybody would, would turn around and say, well, 
So motorbike enthusiasts, pictures of a bloke downstairs. So it was his house, so you get a bloke. But I don't get a bloke at a minute. I'm getting the, I'm getting the spirit out of a child. I, I've had to be pushed to say it was a little girl, which again sounds strange because it seems more of a boyish house. Yeah. But I'm getting a little girl in here. And this would have been probably the main bedroom. You can see here, there's a mat on the floor. The old, there's a gas fire, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then the... It's a very female room, this, isn't it? I don't really know. Fe and the yeah, well, yeah, that's what, I think that's what's making it feel very female. Yeah, to me, it feels more like a living room. Yeah, yeah well, it, it, it could be, but... I mean, there's been something on here. I don't know if this has been a radiator or not. Could not be. Like bed sits with the microwave downstairs and up here. Two separate families, I don't know. Uh, again, it may have been, but I just get, I get the feeling that it's a house that has been... I had beans for lunch, you've been warned. <laughs> What does it say on the back of it? You know. No, I... What are you doing? Turn the light off. <laughs> Might work. Yeah, electric. I turned the electrics on a little while ago. Right, so yeah. what's up there? Um, so why would I, I can't really get up there to be fair. Unless someone gives me a meal. Right, I'll tell you what I do. Why are we going down the torch as the lights come on? Well, because we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. I thought it was all in darkness. Well, but is it the windows not? No, a lot of them are, oh, I guess. Oh, right. Right, if you come down a minute, because I'm taller than you, I'll have a look. I put the camera up there as well. So, what I'm going to do, someone hold these steps, because I'm going to get up on the very top. that someone's tried to get up there before, because the steps are here. Right. People say it shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, there's what the hell, well, I was going to climb up in, but I can see in now with a... So, if you can see anything... In there at all. Behind you, there's also a crawl space. Right, well, I'm going to bring the crawl here. space in here. Don't know if you can see anything. There's something white in there. What the hell is that? Get my shoulders and get up there. Fuck off. <laughs> what? No, no, not you get what, my what? shoulders. I'm going to have to pause this video a second, people, and check this out. Two seconds. Right, so I've just been up in the loft, people, checking that out. And there is nothing up there. Now, you've probably seen on camera there was something moving. If anybody can explain to me what was moving and what they think was moving in that loft, then please do tell me. I've just got myself up there for a quick look with the torch, and there is nothing at all up there. So I do not know what that has been. But there is definitely something was up there. Just there. I've stood in that ladder on the very, very tip of it and got as far as my head in that hole. That's as far as I could get. There is nothing. Yeah, I was going to say to you. Right. Who has the... Uh, <laughs> bag of tricks now see no see it's gone warmer in here no, no, it's cold isn't it no I, I'm, I'm colder I want to go out here and do it mm -hmm. right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move just move these photos I'm not taking them or doing anything with them I'm just moving them hmm? over to here because yeah. I need to put this colder you've set this camera down a minute right now Pass me that. Can I have your phone a minute for your phone? I'll try it up in here as well. Right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something here, people. Right, I'll leave this here for a second. Right, so we just stand there for a second. And you can see me in the camera okay, can't leave from here. Yeah. Right, it's okay, just so as I'm not being... Right, so I'm going to put... Right. Is there anybody here with us now?
Talk through this up on the phone. No. We're not here to do any harm or disrespect you. We're here to try and find out more about you. Can you please come forward and talk to us? Is it just me or has there been a little kid on that? Little kid's voice keeps coming through on that. There's a little kid's voice, but I don't know if it's... Okay. Can you give me a name? That sounded like Chrissy. Can you come through a bit clearer and give me your name? No. Oh, We're not here to scare you or harm you. What is this from Sweden? The mask. Come on, if you're a little girl, come forward. Like a, like a kid's cry, wasn't it? Yeah. You don't need to be afraid. That was a listen. What do you want me to listen to? Him? Yeah. Listen, who did I listen to? Him, yeah. Who's him? Who is he? If there's a male here, can you give me your name? Doug. Doug? Doug. Doug. I sounded like Doug. Is your name Doug, sir? Douglas? Bird? I sound it like. Just sound like it. Could it be Doug Bert? Doug again. Doug. Can you tell me, Doug, what room you're in now in this house? What room are you in? I'm, I'm not going to the bathroom. Can you come out of the bathroom and go somewhere else? That sounds like motorbike. Uh, Robin, your head's not in it. Sorry. Can you tell me what room you're in? Kitchen. That's how the kitchen. Have you seen what looks Are you in the kitchen here? Oh, yes. Well, I think it's dark then. You did, didn't you? Yeah. I thought that's where the dark was coming from. Do you want me to go into the kitchen? No. no Why not? Why don't you want me to go in here? Like again, no kitchen, no kitchen. Ask him if it's okay if I read the books on the mantelpiece in the living room. No, don't touch my. What will happen to me if I go into the kitchen? That front door don't open. I'll be fucking free. <laughs> Can you give me an answer? It, it just said on there, night. Mm. Can you give me an answer to this question? You don't want me going into the kitchen, so what will happen to me if I go into the kitchen? Do it. 
What will happen if I go in here? Right, I'll try the other one. I'll try the other one. I right, take you down, Matt. I'll try the other spirit box here. Like said, do you want us to go? I'd have been gone, mate. There's holy Bibles, there's kind of a little card. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. No, don't read them, just read what the descriptions of them are. Right, some of them are here, Matt. Alright, Sal. Look, this is kind of Okay, Alright, so we'll try this one. Holy Bibles. Right. Are you still here, Doug? Are you still here, Doug? Right more points straight this way. I want to get that doorway in the in the in as well. Are you still here, Doug? If you're not, then you'll not maybe get in the kitchen, will you? Can you come forward and speak, Doug? Or whoever else is here. Is there a little girl here? try a K2 before we go mm -hmm. because I want to know who that was and why all of a sudden they're not speaking and I'm going to also set up a little experiment here I'm getting hot now <laughs> I know he does love me experiments right no, what I'm going to do gone. is I'm going to I'm going to try something Right, I'm going to put my REM pod on here. I'm going to cover all ends of this, really. Right, so I'm going to put this REM pod people on here. Have you got this in shot, Kyle? You might be better lifting the camera and holding it because then you can get I'll be moving a bit here. So we'll put the thing in your pocket and bring it towards me. Uh, I'm going to put the REM pod there. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this as well in case anything moves in the kitchen. Come through there, then. Yeah, yeah. There's there's someone. I I was, I was picking up a child, mm -hmm. but obviously that was a that was a clear dog. It said it a couple of times on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this sensor. I'm going to put it here. So, if anything in this kitchen moves at all, then this sensor will go off, right? So, that's on, so I'll come out of there now. Anything moves near that, it'll go off. This REM pod, it's still recording in it, I don't want to miss this part of it. This REM pod will only go off when I turn it on, like that. 
it will only go off if something, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If something has to basically come to there. So that's how you can also tell if someone's with us. So, if, obviously, can you just count, Kyle? There's two here. Mm -hmm. There's Kieran's here, and I'm here, and you're with the, with the camera. So that's all five of us. We just are swing, not. Just swing the camera around. Yeah, just swing the camera around quickly. Two there, right? There, and then there's Kieran here, and I'm here, and obviously you're on camera. So that sensor's on, the REM pod's on, and I'm going to just do the K2 here for the camera. So you might want to turn that light off for a minute, right? I can keep your torch on, because then I'll give a bit of light still, right? But obviously just so as you look at the camera, if you point it this way, just so as you can tell that none of us are going to near any of these two devices, right? So I'm going to put this against there. So is there anybody here with us now? Can you come forward to this device I've just set on the shelf with a green light? And can you change the lights to amber or red, please? Come on, come forward. I know there's someone here. I get the spirit of a child. Maybe it's too high if it's a child. Mm, might be. Yeah, we'll put it down. There. Right. So can you come forward? There is a device here with a green light. Please go near that device and change the colour of the lights to amber or red. Feeling that, there is a REM pod, excuse me, on here. If you go near it like that, it will go off. So please go to that if you can, or if you're in the kitchen, Please set the sensor off in there. So can you come to one of the devices, please? Come on, come forward. Are you a child? Are you an adult? Right, I'm getting a noise from in there. I don't know what it is yet because the sensor hasn't went off. I was thinking the birds. No, it wasn't the bird squeak. It was more of a. It was a like, like two thuds. It was really like a. It was really like a. But it was in there. It was, it was faint, but I heard it. So come on, if there's anyone here, come forward and come to this device. Either this one here, the REM pod on there, or walk towards that sensor in there, and the, the alarm will go off. Just let us know you're here. If you don't want us here and you want us to leave, set one of the devices off. Strange though, because there was nothing really, apart from that thing we got in the loft, there was nothing like that until we came back down to this floor and it went really, really, we'll just tell people for the camera, it went really, really cold, mm -hmm. didn't it? Yeah. Everybody yeah. noticed the temperature drop. Yeah. But now... But I sense it's gone. Yeah, yeah but now it, it seemed to start communicating through the app on the phone. Yeah. Which is a spirit box app. Then... Obviously, after that, when I got the SB7 out, it was a couple of little things, not much, and then it just seems to have... Because it's got warmer again. <clears throat> yeah, I said that. Yeah, but when all that was happening on, I was looking through the books that were on the um, mantelpiece. Right. Go you in there, don't move um, them. I've just been reading through that one as well. It's um, Charles Dickens. Right, did you get it from here? Yeah. yeah. Put it on there and go into the mantelpiece. Don't move anything, just obviously look at the names and stuff and, and just maybe I'll try and, maybe try and trigger something maybe. Else. Now, again, I'm getting a breeze from behind me, but is yeah, it because well, it's I the way in? Yeah, well I've got that before, I think it's but, because it's... Yeah. yeah, but the thing is... I got it when I was over there though. Yeah, I can, I can account for this people on camera. This, this door here... Is where we come in. I mean, you can't see anything. Well, actually, yeah. <laughs> Turn it around again. I'll just keep it on me for a minute. But 
let this let this door where we come in See? the breeze wasn't coming through there a while ago but it is now but, but it is now but it's an icy breeze it's not just a breeze yeah. so maybe if we there's nothing happening with them devices now unfortunately it's if you where's the little there is there turn the <laughs> right so give us that again right so this is <laughs> been a bit of a letdown with the equipment really well the, the saying that the app first of all said a few things it also did say that if I went into the uh, kitchen that <laughs> it wasn't going to end very nicely but I'm still standing here I'm going to turn this off now because it hasn't been moving really uh, I'll turn this sensor off before it picks me up right so I'll put this on here and I'll turn this REM pod off. Maybe you should put the REM pod somewhere else, like, I don't know, upstairs. So when, so when yeah, but the thing about it is, with this one, because it's not, uh, it's not a strong, strong one, so we wouldn't necessarily hear that but if it was upstairs. Up, surely you'd hear it on the landing upstairs. Surely. Right, well, what, what we'll do is, I think, before we'll go, right, is... Yeah, but we didn't get nothing up there. Well, we didn't. But it doesn't mean to say that there's nothing moving about. So say put the REM pod upstairs. Put it, I'll, put it on the, I'll put it on the top of the stairs and I'll come down. We'll do something in here. Well, you're not here you're in there. Put the sensor up there. Well, you might do, actually. You do that. Yeah, right. Well, put it across the landing. Yeah. Just trying to figure out, people, because there's definitely... We're, we're all sensing something in here. But as of yet, nothing's really coming of it. So... I want to try and, uh, right, sensor, one that, so that's, there, right, right, yeah, right, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'll leave this sensor, I'll take this camera up and I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing with it. Right, so, what I will do is, I will put this sensor No. Right, so I'll put this sensor here. Right, just there. Come here. Yeah? Come here. What? Douglas is not the name of the of a person. Go for that look. There's a thing on here, Douglas, the Isle of Man. David Welsh, Douglas, Isle of Man. Blimey. And this book was just lying down here. And I've been through all them and I didn't even know this book. And it was just there like that. And I thought, oh, I'll just have a look at that. And I just opened it out by that. And I was like, oh. And look, literally like that. But it did say Doug when I asked for her name. It didn't say, if I had said just random Douglas, I would have thought. No, no, no. no. <laughs> right. I'm just going to no, turn this. Just the two yeah, well, they might do. But I'm just going to turn this on for a second. We're going to have to obviously bring this in end soon. But I'm going to. So that's on. Right. I've just heard. Right. I, I put the sensor on and come round that corner about to come down these lot of stairs here. Now I don't know whether it was caught on camera or not. I heard the sound of a toilet flushing. It wasn't that toilet. No, did you close that bathroom door? No. But why is it shut? I pulled it shut. He pulled it shut. Oh. But I heard this. Now, it wasn't that one. It was like a far away noise, but it was the sound of a toilet flushing. What? What? Well, what we're looking at, I can't see that one. Douglas. Something school, English. Food, so, what we have now. It's a sensor on up there, so if anything moves up there, then we will know. So, again, I just want to have a look in here. Apparently, I wasn't supposed to go in here, but hey ho, if it's somewhere I'm not supposed to go, it's the first place I do go. So, Oh, 
nothing much in here really. Uh, could have been, or just maybe a, they get these motorbike enthusiasts and they just go over every single year, don't they? Yeah, but he's got Douglas Himmel, Himmel, School Himmel. Oh, no. I don't know. He's got an address in that other book. It says January 58 or something. Not in 58. And you've got this. CTs are normally around about May, aren't they? The actual album June, yeah. attached to the wall. Right. Which I'll show you. Well, yeah, I've seen that a while ago. Show me that a while ago. Is there anybody here before we go? Jesus. Anybody at all that wants to come forward? We were just debating there as well about the name Doug that come through. It's obviously short for Douglas. There is a lot of stuff lying about this house to do with Douglas and the Isle of Man. Obviously, apart from the motorbikes and the TT and stuff, there's a lot of stuff lying about, which means that, like you say, the guy could have been born over there or could have lived over there for a long period of time. But it doesn't explain why it said Doug no. on the thing and not Douglas. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to say about the place, you'd say Douglas. If you're going to say about someone's name, you'd shorten it to Doug, wouldn't you? So I don't... I mean, I don't know. There's nothing really happening up there. It was a nice idea, Kyle, but it's not... It doesn't... It doesn't feel... Like a normal empty house, this. No. I, I, I've got the feeling the whole time that I'm intrusion, I'm intruding in someone's. You know, like as if someone's like gone shopping or or something like that, and and you're just walking around. Not like I'm not like yeah. a burglar, but if someone goes shopping and leaves their front door land wide open, and you just happen to walk in off the street, mm -hmm. and you think to yourself, you know, they're coming back soon, or or you, you can tell it feels it does feel lived in to a certain extent. I think. Yeah. Right, well, I suppose I better get stuff together and make a move then, because there's not much happening really. I mean, like I say, I hope it's. I hope I've caught something on camera because it is really. It definitely is. Uh, it definitely. It's all right, really. It's a nice place, really. Right, I'm just going to pause the video here and. Uh, I can retrieve the uh, sensor. I've got to put this on, people. I've got to put this on because I'm actually on the phone and partner Julie and something is talking down the phone to her. Something is literally talking down the phone to her that's not one of us from this house, which is really, really weird. Can you hear it anymore? Julie, try saying something. Well, I don't know. Just talk. To well, me. I'm recording here, so say something. Well, she wants to know what. Well, ask her the question. Ask who are you? Who are you? It's Cody. It's Cody. 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 Hello. Hello. <laughs> I know. I know, but I thought if I start talking, oh. that's what I thought. Right, Jodie, I'm going to pass you to Jodie, and you and Jodie are going to have a normal conversation. Okay. Take it off loudspeaker. Take it off. Hello, are you okay? Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, so you they're they're having oh, yeah, a conversation because something keeps talking over the phone to them, which is really really strange. There's a, there's a definitely a vibe about this place. All these old foreign coins on here. Belgian coins, Belgian francs. Uh, so, like I say, there's all these, all these things in here. It, it, it's just, a, it's a really amazing place, and I, I hope, I really do hope, that we have caught something in here. If not, well, it was worth a try. But it's just that constantly, there is, there's a vibe and a presence in here, and it's 
to, it's strange because to me, it's not menacing, but everybody else feels menacing. So we're going to have to maybe, you know, try and watch this back and see if we we'll have caught anything. I really do hope we have. But I'm going to make my way through the uh, upstairs door and then I'll put the camera back on again whenever we get through there and we'll go downstairs and finish off. Right, people, just to let you know, we've just come through this hole and we're about to go down to exit the building and some someone has said hi from in this hole. Now, nothing's happened, really, until we've been leaving and there was a hi. So... There's nothing, there's nothing much happening there now. If you see anything in here at all, in this part of the video, there was a hi, but... Please let me know if you hear it on the on the camera. Any or you hear anything on the camera, should I say the high was off camera, but if you hear anything or see anything on camera at all, please let me know. But I'm just gonna pause this till we get downstairs, people. Right, so we have come to the end of the video for the biker's house. One of the names is known by the motorbike house, the biker's house. Uh, been a decent video. There's been a few things happening. The spirit box up, we've got a few bits and pieces on that. Uh, on the actual spirit box itself, we didn't get much. Oh, but hopefully we've caught a few other things as well. Lots of dark rooms like this one and stuff like this. Uh, so, I don't know until I watch it back myself exactly what we've caught. But hopefully we've got something. We've got some voices come through as well on the mobile phone when we were talking to someone from the house. There was a, a third party, I want to call it voice speaking as well so i'm gonna to have to try and figure out where that came from why are you two directed up there because i keep hearing know. something don't we i have no idea i keep hearing i keep hearing something as if it's up there but it could well just just to say as well uh, just a minute ago in the video up there i had to put it back on for a few seconds because as the last as kai was the last one coming through that door yeah basically it's a door with a glass window the mm -hmm. door has been nailed shut by people in the house and the window's gone so you've got to climb through the door as Kai was the last one climbing through the door he heard a voice saying hi that's why I put the camera back on a minute ago and filmed up there to see if we'll catch anything but that's only happened when we were leaving the place now we've come down here to end the video and there's more happening but I've got this sense of it's only happening because we're leaving if yeah. we go back up again, which I'd love to do, yeah, it's not going to happen because we've been up there and we've done all that. Mm -hmm. I've had the sensor, the REM pod and everything on and the K2 and there was nothing. So it was only from the spirit box app. But what I'm going to say is we will be finished with this place for now. And there will be a lot more to come. A lot more. So keep on watching the channel. Let me know at the bottom of the, of the video in the comments section if you've heard or seen anything. And please, please keep on watching because like I keep saying all the time, there's a lot more to come. But from now, from Half From Paranormal, it's goodbye.